So there we go. So go ahead. All right. Michael Pittman. I am the uh, department chair, chef instructor for the Northwest Culinary Arts Department here at uh, Northwest Culinary Tech Academy, Korean Tech Academy. Um, you know, we, uh, we have a large body of students here. We have over 300 that we try and move through the system. We have a short time with them each day, three, three and a half hours, which seems like a lot, but it's not a very long time to, to uh, educate that many students. Uh, we began using KP Compass uh, in an effort to stretch out that time that we have for those students, whether they're here or whether they're on the road or on the bus or at home or wherever it is. KP Compass becomes that backboard that we spring off of each day in the education. Um, KP Compass is exactly the kind of virtual environment that our program is moving toward. And when I say that, uh, we still use textbooks. I encourage my students to read. We still use um, uh, uh, recipe books. We still use all the standard uh, materials. But our students demand a bit more of an interactive environment. I used to say to everybody that came in that Students bring one of two things to school each day. They bring a phone or they bring an iPod. And that we don't take advantage of that is exactly where we shouldn't be going. We should take advantage of it, the power of this in their hands. KP Compass loads easily on a phone, it loads easily on an iPod. My whole kitchen is Wi-Fi to that effect. Um, KP helps me in the, in the daytime to reflect, uh, the, for the students to reflect on what I'm about to teach. I can prescribe it early on in the day, the day before, we're going to cover this, we're going to cover that, and it helps me spend less time standing in front of them lecturing. Quite simply, that's really what it does. It extends my time out and gives me more time to do what's necessary. While I still use traditional teaching materials, I think that this interactive environment is exactly where things are going. Uh, I'm fond of other websites that use a similar system. They don't annotate, they don't uh, block it out the same way that KP Compass does when it comes to a learning environment, but everybody is beginning to follow the same pattern of give me the information in a nice, neat, concise, material way. Uh, for my students, I am a teacher that is teaching for mastery, and so uh, I give them the answers. I give them the education. I give them everything up front. And KP actually follows the same program that I teach. And so it has flowed very, very well in. Uh, in the future, I can see my students fully utilizing it virtually. I can see myself using it even more in the fact that I can add the content that I want to add to KP Compass. That's really important to me. If there's one thing that's important, it's adding content and uh, being able to transfer that content onto them, adding my own ideas and adding my own philosophy on where this is going to go and where that's going to go. The fact that KP has a great base already of intellectual ideas and, and uh, a good knowledge base, um, the way I practice culinary arts is important. Um, and I think my students appreciate that. I think they, once they're motivated to use KP more, once they're motivated to access it while they're working in the kitchen, once they're motivated to study with it, when it comes to test taking or quizzing, or challenging themselves for their own knowledge base, I think that uh, it will probably become the centerpiece of this particular program.